In this video, I'm gonna be installing this brand new fuel system from Andrews Tuning and Performance. Um, as a remote fill, I'm using this Aeromotive Phantom 60 PSI in-tank fuel system, fuel pump in it. Um, and let's uh, start talking about this tank. All right, so here it is. This tank is designed to fit in the back of a F100 with the Mustang IRS. Uh, this one is, has the remote fuel fill vent. I think these are uh, vent return outlets. I am not using those. I have this 60 PSI um, pump in here that already has the return vent outlets. First thing's gonna have to happen is this cross member in the back is gonna get pulled out. I've already got the rivet, rivets pulled out. Um, I just used the um, angle grinder and air chisel to pop those off. This thing's gonna slide all the way to the back here. And that tank is going to mount underneath on the bottom of these frame rails. All right, so with that cross member removed, we're gonna figure out a mount to get that tank to sit up here underneath these frame rails. We've got these two mounts. They're gonna get drilled in on the top of that frame rail there so that the um, flange here on either side of the tank can go on the bottom and drill right up there. So we got the tank sitting in here, right where we want it. We've moved this cross member all the way to the back and uh, we flipped it around and lined up these holes that were already in it. We're, those are uh, the furthest back uh, bed, bed bolt mounts. We found that the tank was sitting pretty close. There's these other holes drilled into the frame and the back of the rail uh, of the tank pretty much butts right up to that hole So that's where it's gonna sit. It's about three and Nine sixteenths off of the inside of the rail on all sides. So it's sitting there nice and square So now we have to get these plates in there, so we've Marked where I want it to go. It's about nine sixteenths off of that bolt hole now I'm going to take the tank out, we're going to flip this onto the bottom and we're going to use these transfer punches to go one through these smaller holes that will just hold the this plate to the frame and then we'll center punch through these three larger holes that are threaded and these will actually bolt to the, we'll have the drill holes in these flanges here, and that will hold the tank to the frame. Let's get to it. All right, so change of plans on where we're uh, mounting these brackets. Instead of actually using the smaller pilot holes, we're just going to line up that center, the center of the three mounting holes with this hole right here. It's the first one back from these two cross members. This is where the cross member was. There's one open hole towards the end. So one, two, three, four. This hole right here is not being used for anything, but this one, when, we're, when we measured everything on the top, we didn't see this hole there. Um, but then when we transferred it to the bottom, 
this was barely off like an eighth of an inch so instead of using those pilot holes we're just gonna drill out this a little bit so that it fits right in there and then that's gonna be the center of this bracket makes it way easier not having to do any of those pilot holes there is fully mounted in. I've got these threaded rails tacked into the inside of the frame so that the bolts can screw in from the bottom and hold the tank in there. The reason for that is for serviceability. Once the bed's on there, it's gonna be uh, almost impossible to get those bolts out without removing the bed again. So uh, this way they can just unscrew it and the tank will drop right out. And that's gonna be it for this video. Next, we're going to hook it up to the engine, run the lines, and we're gonna do a video on where I'm gonna send that remote fill. Um, so stay tuned for that as well. Thanks.